gradients today, and gradients are gradual blending from one value to another. Gradual blending from one value to another. Yesterday, we talked about value in a value scale, and here the value went from one value to another, but there was a line in between, and it was very much structured where each box was a different value. Instead, today, it is a gradual blending gradual blending okay and so I'm going to show you how to do gradual blending so the first thing that you need to do is draw that same box and remember it was six inches long and one inch tall. But this time we are not having the little marks every inch. So go ahead and do that. Okay, and what I just handed out was a blending stump. And um, this is just rolled paper rolled to a point okay and it's I want to show you how to use it so don't use it yet okay so we have all of our pencils and we learned yesterday that the darker pencils are which ones what what kind of all groups the darker pencils together? B pencils. So all the B pencils are the darker ones. And remember, 2B is darker than HB, and 4B is darker than 2B. So your darkest pencil that I gave you today is 4B. And then the same with the light. The lightest pencil I gave you today was either 5H or 4H. So we're going to start with our darkest pencil. Over here. So this is going to be darker. Let's write darker. And this is going to be lighter. And we want it to be a gradual, even blend from one value to another. Okay, so we're not going to use our blending stick at first. At first, we're just going to use our pencils. And remember, we're using the side of the pencil. We're rubbing the side of the pencil, so it does not have to be sharp. Right? And a lot of times I like to hold my pencil like this. So if I put it in my hand and I put it right in line with my pointer finger and then I just grasp the rest of it, this is a lot easier to do with a light pressure than this. See, I'm holding it like that. Okay, and I hold it in my hand like this. I align it with my pointer finger and then I grab it with the rest and this way I can put a lot lighter pressure and um, this is how artists hold it a lot of times they also hold it back here to the lightest pencil that I have go to your lightest one 
I have 5H, you might have 4H. And you're going to hold it like this. And you're going to leave a little area where it will remain the white of the paper. And you're going to lightly rub the side here. Oh, I left a little bit. And as I go towards the darker side, I'm going to then maybe switch to my 2H. And then I'm going to switch to my HB. And then I'm going to switch to my Q. And then I'm going to switch to my 4B. Okay, and I just did it very lightly, the first layer. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again, another layer because I want this part to be darker especially. And I'm going to go the opposite direction. And our goal is to get a gradual transition and then at the very end we will blend with the blending stuff. Yeah. But notice how light it starts out. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. I want you to go ahead and pause. Can everybody look up at the screen? I have done two layers so far with light pressure. And you look, it's very light here. It is very, very light here. Okay, because it is so much easier to start light in, in this than start dark because you don't want to erase. But now once I've done two layers, okay, really light pressure, then I can start to go the other way and put a little bit more pressure. Every time I go across this, I'm doing it in a different direction. So the first time I went vertical, the second time I went horizontal, and now I'm coming back vertical again. And we are building up layers. We are not pressing hard. And over here should be the darkest and it should fade out into nothing. So as I get to my fourth and fifth layer, I am starting to push a little harder with the B pencils, okay? So now I'm starting to push a little bit harder, not a lot of pressure, I'm still pretty light um, with my grip. And you want to get it so you don't see the paper and you don't see the pencil marks. And we're going to blend in a little bit. Some teachers have their students do this with just one pencil. That's really hard. I'm giving you kind of an easier way. So once you've got, like I've got five or six layers here, that's when you can start using your blending stump. Now here's the trick with the blending stump. You don't want to start over here in the darker because then your graphite is all on your blending stump and it's all dirty and you make a mark over here and it really messes it up. So I like to start at the lighter side and I like to do little circles. Okay, and you can see as I do it, my blending stump gets um, dirty, that's okay.
Okay, so we're going to move on. Let me zoom out a little. Here's our sheet here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a six by six square. I'm just using my HB. So I'm going to go six inches this way, six inches this way, and make a square. And then I want you to connect the corners with a line. And then halfway over in each box, I want you to make a little tick mark. So that half of six would be three. I'm going to make a tick mark there and a tick mark there. And then I'm going to draw a line straight down, but make sure you're using those tick marks and measuring accurately. And then halfway down here, we're making a little off three inches. should have something like that. And what we're going to do in this box is we're going to do eight gradients. Each section is going to have its own gradient. Okay? So we're going to alternate between dark at the center to light out here. And then the next one is going to be light in the center and dark out here. Okay, so we want them alternating. So every time there is a section, the direction alternates between darker and lighter. So the darker is either in the center or on the edge. So for like this one, for example, I'm just going to do one really quickly. Okay, this should take you the whole rest of the period, if not longer. Probably longer than the rest of the period. Okay, so this one is dark down here and then light out here. And then this one is going to be light here and then get darker towards the edge. And, and after you do them, you're going to blend them. I'm just doing one real quick to show you. I'm doing a pretty poor job.